Hello, my punk relatives. Uh, I wanted to do a little video uh, about our book project, Stories of Our Northern Ponca People. Uh, I just wanted to say, first off, thanks for sending in the stories that you have already sent in. Every time I get a story, I feel this uh, big surge of love and this big surge of energy to uh, keep going to feed this project and I really feel uh, the potential that this project has for kind of educating our people, making our people feel happy and uh, giving all of our tribal members uh, a book that really illuminates uh, all the different aspects and facets of our Ponca identity, the Ponca identity that has formed in the modern times and the Ponca identity that we have uh, received and inherited from our ancestors. I really believe that uh, this book project, Stories of Our Northern Ponca People, can uh, just do a lot of really good stuff for our people. And uh, I guess I wanna invite you all to continue to send me uh, more stories and to uh, maybe uh, talk to your grandma, talk to your grandpa, uh, maybe even pester them a little bit to uh, participate or uh, flip that. Uh, I want to ask you grandpas and grandmas to maybe uh, pester your children or your grandchildren to uh, uh, participate. It's really easy. You can uh, write me a letter and put a story in there and send it to me here. Uh, I'm out here on the Oregon coast in Astoria, Oregon. Or you can email me. My email is cliffponca, C-L-I-F-F-P-O-N-C-A at gmail.com. Or you can find me on Facebook. Just type in Cliff Taylor and message me uh, a video of you telling a story uh, made with your phone, just like I'm making this video with my phone sitting in front of the public library. And, uh, you know, message me on Facebook. I'll give you my uh, phone number and you can uh, send me the video. Or you could uh, voice record the story on your phone and send me that. And I will transcribe it. I will turn it into a paragraph or, depending on how long it is, a couple pages of words and that will be another story for the stack slash pile of stories that is growing and assembling for this book and uh, I think I should clarify what do I mean by send me a story I mean any kind of story it could be a short one it could be a long one it could be a deep one it could be uh, just something funny that uh, you heard uh, your Ponca family member share last week at the kitchen table with uh, the football game on in the background. We want this book, Stories of Our Northern Ponca People, to be uh, representative of all the different kinds of stories uh, that make up our lives. It could be a family story, it could be a spiritual story, it could be the story of a dream you had, it could be a poem you wrote that expresses some of what being Ponca means to you. There's really no uh, limitation any story that kind of jumps into your heart that you want to tell, uh, tell it into your phone or write it down and send it to me. And uh, you can send me more than one story. I would say uh, you know, if you feel excited about it, if you want to be a, a participant, a collaborator, uh, like a, a tribal co-creator of this cool uh ponka tribe book uh do it <laughs> to me i think it's like it's something awesome that we can all participate in together and make for the whole tribe and make for tribal members who aren't even born yet and uh, this is something that i've had floating around in my mind for a long time because as a ponka man as a, a writer and a poet i hunger for the stories of uh, my people. I want to 
you know, be full of that stuff so that I can, uh, you know, kind of walk around in it inside myself and have all of those kind of, you know, shelves full of books, so to speak, or aisles of memory or... Kind of, yeah, all that, that kind of the Ponca Story Mountain. I want it to be alive and vibrant and vital and strong and influential in my own life. And uh, I, I love talking to my dad and talking to my brother and talking to my uncles, my aunts, and you know, my grandpa, my grandma, they're no longer around, but I sure did love listening to them for all the years and all the decades that they were around, you know, so I guess. I kind of want to have this book ensure that there's a body of Ponca stories available for every Ponca member who's interested in, you know, getting to know uh, that part of themselves. Whether it's an easy, natural thing or it's a challenging thing for whatever reason. I want to have this book available to them so it's like uh it's almost like a powwow in book form you know whoever has this book when it's finished can crack it open and start reading all sorts of stories and it'll be just like at the powwow you're surrounded by uh your relatives you're surrounded by the culture you're surrounded by uh the ancestors and the spirituality and all the essences of the punka homeland and you just feel real good and you get to have that beautiful feeling of feeling really good about being Ponca. And, uh, you know, that's what we want to transmit to the coming generations. When they have that feeling of feeling really good about being Ponca, you know, they're going to want to continue the culture. They're going to want to continue uh, participating in tribal reality. They're going to want to continue the spiritual ways. They're going to want to continue to be a part of regenerating uh, our culture, our language, our stories, our ceremonies, you know, our customs, you know, all of that. So that's kind of a, that's kind of the vision of the book. And I'd say, uh, you know, send me a story. This might take uh, a, a year, a couple years, who knows? It's a beautiful thing to be a part of, and I invite uh, all of my Ponca relatives to be a part of it. Send me a story, and uh, we'll put it in the book. And when we're all long gone, this book and the stories in the book will be around uh, sharing these beautiful stories uh, with everyone who cracks it open. Thank you, my Ponca relatives. Uh, thank you very much.